Hi, it's Slim Doggy Steve here. Today we're going to give you a very short introduction to the Slim Doggy iPhone app. We want to focus on the core navigation, how you move around in the app to get to the different pages and features that you need to help you manage your dog's exercise and feeding and of course their weight. Assuming that you've downloaded the app, you would see it on your uh, icon list. Just tap on it. You get a login page. Um, if you've already logged in, it will automatically try to log you in, which is what we've just done. And now you can see the main screen. So the main screen is your dog or dogs. And if you have more than one, you can add more than one. And you can just swipe. In this case, I'm going to swipe with my finger towards the left and see my second dog and maybe my third dog and my fourth dog, etc and then swipe back. When you're entering in information for your dogs, whether it's activities or whatnot, feedings, um, you need to make sure that you are you know, re relating it to the right dog. Anyway, the main navigation, uh, it's very simple. You can see in the top left of the tab, there's like a little set of bars. If I tap on that, I will see the whole layout of the app. So the dogs, as we've just seen, we can do the diary. The diary is the daily uh, activities, calories burned versus calories fed. I can tap back on my nav bar. I can go to my dashboard by tapping that. My dashboard is a graphical representation of my burned, fed, and targeted calories. Uh, it also gives you an ETA for weight loss or weight gain if that's the case. And if I just swipe it up, I can see some of the key metrics for my dog. Current weight, desired weight, <clears throat> activity levels, uh, average exercise duration, and then if there's any special conditions. We'll get into this in some more details in a future video. Go back to the nav. I can see my feeding tab. This is where I manage my food. I'm able to search for foods, add them to the list, and then ultimately uh, add the amount of foods that we're using. We'll get into that again in some details in a future video. The activities page is where you select your dog and either manually add activities or, in the case of walking and running, use the GPS system to automatically track the activities and convert them all to calories burned. I go back to my nav. I can see a page for active offers. This is actually not currently being used but will be soon in an upcoming release. And then my settings page, uh, it really is a very simple way to manage my units of weight. Most of us in the States use pounds. Uh, in most other places, it's kilograms. Um, we have a link to the body condition guide if you have any doubts about whether your dog is at the proper weight or not. Uh, sharing lets you set up the account information for Twitter or Facebook if you want to use that. And we'll get into that in a lot more detail. And then the Slim Doggy walkthrough which actually will appear when you first create an account, is basically there so that you can get a little sense for what the func functions are. And if you go through that once and you want to see it again, you just tap on Reset App T Tutorials and it will reset those for the next time you log in. So that's it. Really simple. The, the navigation is, uh, is hidden and then you can access it by tapping on those icons. Appreciate your time. Thank you for downloading the app and come back again because we have a lot more details to get into on all of these different features.